general question, which is submitted by Facebook, and uh, we're going to start off with Mr. Dykstra. So, here's a question. A significant proportion of Niagara households are placing over 50% of their income towards rent. Now, there are over 4,500 households on the Niagara Regional Housing waiting list for affordable housing with wait times of up to 10 years. Now, the federal government has been called on to increase investments in affordable housing. What new funding and investments will you and your party make, and how will it coordinate work with other levels of government and sectors to solve the affordable housing crisis in St. Catharines and Niagara? Over the, um, over the last uh, number of years, including the first budget that we introduced in 2006, which uh, actually kept a commitment um, that uh, the NDP had uh, struck with the Liberals in terms of our investment in social housing in 2008 and 2009, when we were working on uh, an economic recovery for our country uh, after the world had gone into recession. Uh, we didn't just focus on, on infrastructure, we didn't just focus on hard services, we actually included uh, the renewal and, and uh, rework of social housing. It's my belief that um, social housing responsibility in terms of what needs to happen in the community uh, belongs both to the municipality and to the regional government. Once they've addressed and uh, identified how they want to move forward, uh, to partner with the federal and with the provincial governments in terms of uh, sharing in the cost to do so. And uh, there are um, affordable housing projects across the city uh, that have happened over the last uh, 10 years and have at least led us forward. There is more obviously to do and we have made uh, commitments in the last three budgets to ensure that affordable housing is part of our uh, mandate and part of the fabric upon which we will build our communities. Thank you. Is this good for you? I think, uh, I think it's important that affordable housing is accessible right now, but I think more importantly, I think we have to enact uh, an affordable housing act. We have to make housing a right for people uh, to be sheltered. We have to make people have a place to stay. I can tell you right now that with some of the work that I've done uh, with United Way and some of the work that I've done with family members, which I'm sorry to say, to take them around the city and try to find them affordable housing, it's appalling. We also have to work with our provinces to make sure that the affordable housing that we do offer is up to code, that it's safe, and that these people will be able to wake up in the morning and know that when they get up, they have been, had a good night's sleep and they can go on to the next part of their day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Feynman. There's a number of things we can do, and that's a great idea. To, uh, the NDP and the Liberals have been stealing more Green Party platform over the last 25 years. <laughs> Uh, the GIS could be increased, the guaranteed livable income, we really need to get a strategy, a national housing strategy, and a strategy for seniors too, or most vulnerable, and youth for that matter. Uh, we could coordinate with the provinces more. The Prime Minister doesn't even talk to the provinces now. If you heard the, you know, wind trying to get a meeting with them, it doesn't happen. The Council of uh, Canadian Governments would, the Green Party's idea, it's not too long until these guys pick up on it, they would take the feds, the provinces, the territories, Inuit leaders, and most importantly, the greatest stakeholder, the, 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 the governments that know exactly what we need, it's our local, municipal governments at one table, talking about common goals, talking about how we can move forward together rather than fighting each other all the way. Distant governments can't possibly know what's right for Wayne Fleet, Fort Erie, St. Catharines, Grimsby. That's why we want to bring them all together on a yearly basis and have the Council of Canadian Governments work it out and work on common goals. Canada is one of, one of the, in fact, probably the only industrialized country without a countrywide housing strategy. The Conservatives have had 10 years to deliver on that. They haven't delivered on that. But before then, the Liberals also didn't deliver one. But the Communist Party is calling for in our platform, you can see it outside or in communist-party.ca, is for 1% of the budget to be dedicated to building public and social housing. Without an integrated housing strategy with dedicated funds going towards a massive increase in housing, we're not going to make headway. A little bit here, a little bit there isn't enough, as we heard earlier. The wait lists right here are up to eight years, or actually even beyond eight years. So we need to have a Canada-wide strategy, in our, and the Communist Party is, is one of the parties calling for that. Good. Thank you. As we've heard from all the candidates, uh, affordable housing is a crisis in this country. Um, during Rick Dykstra's tenure in Niagara, homelessness has increased about 140% in Niagara. It's appalling, it's unacceptable, and something needs to be done right away. We've committed to the largest infrastructure investment in Canadian history. 
60 billion dollars and a third of that is going to be dedicated to um, social infrastructure which includes things like affordable housing co-ops seniors residences let's invest now while the economy needs it get people to work and invest in these things that we can build our economy on let's also incentivize landlords as well it can't it, it doesn't just need to be a um, a government uh, government-run system, we can incentivize landlords and get them to build affordable housing as well. Let's make this a complete strategy and we also will negotiate with the provinces to develop a national housing strategy. It's time to negotiate with them. It's time that the Prime Minister meets with the Premiers on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you so much. This is uh, the general question number two. We're going to begin with is there's